What's up, everybody? Welcome to the My RC Life YouTube channel, where we do all things RC and a little bit of everything in between. Let's go! Good morning, everybody. Travis is Mike from My RC Life. Had a lot of nice rain last night. It's a perfect time to go and grade with my little Kubota. So let's go get the back blade put on and do some grading. All right, so right now I'm pulling these three point arms out to the side and I gotta loosen up these uh, sway limiters. I'm gonna open them up wide and then I walk over to the tractor and I push down on the uh, hydrostatic pedal by hand tractor back just slightly to where this one here will line up. Go ahead and kind of jam that in there. And then get a pin in. Over to the other side. I gotta lift it up and down with the three point there. Get that one in. Alright. Put that pin in there and then you got the center pin here. Down here, then I go and I lift up with the hydraulic control. And that comes up, line it up with the pin through the middle of the back blade there. Bam! Put that sucker in there. Now we are ready to go. It comes up in the air. We can go ahead and get the back blade. Now you'll see what I'm saying about these anti sway adjustments. See how I can tighten them up so this back blade won't sway left and right. Like just before this, you can see on the left side it was like touching the tire. And get it tightened up so it's right in the middle there. All right, we got to angle this. There we go. Now the general rule of thumb I use when grading dirt roads is I take everything from the side of the road and angle the blade so it puts everything towards the middle. So I go down the one side of the road angling all the dirt off towards the middle. Then I'll go back up the other side of the road putting all the dirt in towards the middle. And then you will uh, see that big washout right there on the right hand side. I want to try to fill those as well. Sometimes uh, you gotta take a little bit from the middle and put it in the washouts. But most generally, you take everything from each side, put it in the middle, then you make one pass down the middle uh, of the road really fast, kind of scattering the dirt from both sides. See, now I'm coming back up the other side, bringing everything to the middle. Oh, this is the side that you seen the big washout on just a minute ago be able to see it because uh, I'm kind of grading it over as I go. Here I am over by my house, kind of taking out some chatter bumps. I couldn't include every bit of grading I did because I had like an hour and a half of footage. Like it would have been a kind of long, drawn out, boring video. But it is kind of satisfying just to see that dirt rolling over on that back blade. And uh, all the chatter bumps getting taken out of the road and any ruts getting filled. It's a really satisfying uh, thing to do and a satisfying video to watch as well.
of that dirt just roll over on that back plate. For a little tractor, it does pretty good. see I got pretty much everything graded each of my wind rows have came together kind of towards the middle but uh, I'm kind of concentrating everything over towards this side because as you can see right there I still have a little bit of ruts that uh, you know the rain washed made a big rot wash out and there's a rut there so those aren't quite getting all filled up so I'm concentrating everything over on this side and then I will scatter that wind row right there to hopefully fill in uh, rut that's further off to the side of the road. Like I said before, usually you'd want that wind road to be right down the middle of the road, but uh, not for this particular grading because we had such ruts on that side of the road. Now, right in this spot, I do put the wind row right down the middle of the road. Because I don't have as big of ruts here. Then we kind of come down to this curve and it kind of leans in a little bit. The road's a little wider here. So my wind rows have not met each other yet. right through here. I will have to say so myself. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flip this blade around. Okay, now we're going to rotate this blade, like so, so we can take this wind row right here, so we can roll it out flat with the back side of the back plate, that wind row right there. You get what I'm saying? go kind of trying to scatter this wind row out now like I said normally you'd want to be in the middle of the road at, when you hit this step but there's so many washouts down here by the boat ramp that I needed to keep it off to this side where all these washouts were because I'm wanting this extra gravel to fill in the washouts this is the only place we had washouts was off of this side and it is filling them all in pretty good
turning down into the boat ramp itself. Off to the right hand side of the screen, you can see it's really washed out over there. And right where I'm coming down right now, you'll notice it's washed out underneath there some as well. Going right down into the water basically. See the air underneath my back blade? That's how big the ruts are right there. Look at that guys. I wish the association would take care of this, but they never take care of our roads. I don't even know why we pay dues. So I pull the tractor right down almost into the water there. Spin it around. Drop the blade and go back up. See all that air underneath that sucker? Now I could turn the back blade, angle it back in the other way so it digs down deeper, but this is really soft right here. If I did that, it would probably dig down so deep my tractor would probably uh, just sit there and spin the tires. So I just kind of drag it uh, reverse way so it don't dig down so deep. Just kind of slowly try to build ruts. Remember how much air you could see under the back blade? Now it's getting less. Because it's slowly starting to fill it in. Way better than my first pass down the boat ramp. This is a really bad spot. Ooh, look at those big washouts there. My friend Bill actually bent the uh, axle on his trailer because these washouts were so bad. All right, finally I got tired of it. I turned the blade around the other way and let her just dig in. You can see how much more dirt it's dragging now. Um, I just concentrate on going down the hill because when I go up the hill, um, my tractor probably would dig in too much and it's only a 24 horsepower tractor. It probably wouldn't pull all that dirt up the hill. My tires are just kind of more lawn tire. They're not really a agricultural tire, as you can see. Turf tire, I guess you could call it. I'll go back up to the top of the hill, start the camera again, drop the blade. You can see how much more it digs when the blade is facing this way. But I'm definitely getting those washouts filled in. So there won't be nobody bending any axles on no boat trailers now. Does that look so much better or what? Pull the tractor right down into the water. Actually touched the water with the front tires that time. Looks good. Alright, now I'm working back up on the curve here. Just kind of finishing out the last little bit of things that I needed to do on the roads here. I'm going to do a high speed pass and just kind of fling this little pile of uh, gravel I got off to the inside here. This is kind of where a little washout usually forms on the inside of this curve. This water all runs down towards the inside. Just go fast. The blade turned backwards there. Just let her go to the left and to the right. Scatter as it wants to. So as you can see, this is a finished product here. This is all the way down by the boat ramp. I'm just driving back, with the blade up, unfinished. Driving back home, I just turned the camera back around on the front of my head. So you guys can uh, see how much better this looks. 
up to the right hand side. There were big ruts right there. They're all filled back in for the most part. Pretty good. Right here is Bill's driveway. Out front of the driveway there was a huge rut there. He had tried to rake it out by hand. He got all that fixed. Looks really good now. Right, head on up my driveway here. Pull the tractor on out back and uh, get this back blade taken back off. her all the way up put this under the back somehow turn her down get a little more centered there we go okay loosen this up got to get this pin off on this side get the three-point arm out okay over to the other side. Alright, give this a little left foot persuasion. There we go. Okay, we got that to pop out. And time to pop off our center pin. the old girl away up underneath my porch here keeps it out of the rain wish I had a pole barn to put it in but unfortunately I do not shut her off and we are done thanks for watching another episode of my RC life don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.